Hey Scorpio, welcome to your June general love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable. It can go vice versa. Cross watchers welcome. And this reading is not going to resonate with everyone, so just take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest. Welcome guys, I've missed you. I'm glad to be back. Um, so I do want to mention that I'm offering an extended reading. I will put it in the description box down below. And you're more than welcome to join me if this reading's resonating with you. Uh, other than that, let's get started. Okay, so first, well, let me start off with the intuitive message. So <clears throat> when I was, uh, you know, I always pre-shuffle and meditate on your energy. So the first thing I got was uh, there was a, a forest, a rainforest, and it was kind of enchanted, had very whimsical, like, um, ecosystem uh but the second thing i got was it it went from looking at the rainforest to zoning into one single teardrop that looked so big and it just like dropped and went everywhere and the light uh from the sun from the from the trees went down into the reflection of the raindrop it spread big and it was like all of a sudden things were possible um so what I got from it, uh, I was feeling when I saw it, things are needed like an emotional balance uh, is needed at this time. Um, and it's it kind of felt like learning to relax and trusting your instincts, right? Because in an ecosystem like that, um, it takes every part to trust one another that they're going to do their job, right? And so they all work together, plants, um, the animals, everything in order to create this beautiful, uh, ecosystem. So it just felt like, you know, more inner self, uh, trusting your inner instincts a little more and things like that. But that's just a message, uh, for someone other than that, let's get started. Um, so we have, you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. This is one of the oracle cards you got. Okay. So I'm so drawn to the brain here for some reason. And I feel like some of you may have met uh, your soulmate. If not, you, you're you like questioning it. Uh, there's something in your, your mind telling you that possibly this person is it. Maybe your heart's, you know, trying to block that. Or it is what it says it is. Uh, you'll meet your soulmate when the time is right, too. But for some, uh, I get that feeling. The other oracle cards you got was thought patterns. Okay. Get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. And destiny in divine time. So these came out together. And, uh, you know, there's it's a lot about, reminds me of the rainforest, the ecosystem, you know. We can't just focus on, you know, what's in our head because then we're ignoring our heart. And in an ecosystem, they all work together, symbiotic. Um, so it's kind of like make sure, you know, you're staying balanced. It's a balance thing. It's for some reason a very important message. Let's get into the reading. The overall energy is, yeah, the Eight of Swords. So this is definitely... Uh, you know, stuck, not understanding, uh, which, which, which thought to actually process, to act upon, not seeing a way out of a situation, not seeing that you can actually achieve anything. Uh, there's a lot going on here. This is also, um, self-imposed thinking, right? Uh, a lot of times eight of swords comes up to when we don't trust our instincts, when we don't actually follow them. So let's see what the current the current situation is, Scorpio. Death card. So this is your card here. Death, Devil, <clears throat> and the Strength card. You got all three major arcana, which means the universe is definitely at play here. There are bigger um, parts going on behind the scenes. So it's not just minor issues. This is deep, changing soul issues. Tell me about the Death card. 
here. We got the devil with the strength card. Now things are changing. There could be things that, uh, <sighs> possible stuck ways of doing things, uh, addictions, anything that was, um, counterintuitive, counterintuitive to what you was better for yourself. It was not, um, that great for what you needed to be for yourself. We have the death card with the moon card. So uh, this is, can be a couple things here. Yeah. <clears throat> death, ten of swords, moon. So this is like all the fears and anxieties that you had with the, um, it's ending that it's ending, um, anything, seeing, not seeing things clearly, any doubts within a situation, you are processing it. You know, it's a done deal here. It took you a lot of time to get over, but it's, you know, it's done. Tell me about the devil card. Let's see what, yeah, devil, eight of cups. Tell me about the eight of cups. King of Swords. It was the right thing to do, was to walk away, right? It was the logical thing to do. Although still stuck in your head, or this person is too, because um, it can go vice versa. So we have the Devil, Eight of Cups, King of Swords. This was something that had to be done, okay? It was possibly you're feeling toxic, uh, like it was a toxic situation. Uh, and it wasn't healthy. This is definitely like this healthy link that just needed to end. Uh, it was probably making you very fearful all the time, making you uh, anxious, worried all the time. I just heard walking on eggshells uh, for some. But we do have the strength card. And this is great to see because this is a reminder, High Priestess, that you are strong. And you, you can't you can overcome all of this and see your way out of it. <clears throat> that there is somebody that a soulmate that is right for you, that is coming. For, I see, I know, cause it says this, but it spirit just told me there's somebody else in your life that you may not know is your soulmate or you've always had a feeling there could be somebody in your life that you, maybe you're dating this person and you know, it's over, but the other person was like a friend because it's like a friend vibe or some type of um, connection. But it was just like never came together at the right time uh, type deal is what it feels like. Okay, let's see what the challenge was in this situation. What's the challenge? Knight of Swords. Hermit. Two of Cups. This, the challenge was really finding the truth. Uh, from this person or finding the truth in the situation. Uh, also, it was very, um, everything seemed a bit off. Everything seemed a bit rushed, always like out of nowhere things would happen um, or things were said. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. It almost seemed like some of them wanted to rush too fast to uh, commit or to not commit. Uh, you choose which one because it can be either or here. Some of the Ten of Pentacles. Sun, yeah. I see for a lot of you, like, um, the challenge was either you wanted to commit or they wanted to commit too fast. And it just didn't come together here. But the challenge was not seeing things clearly, Hermit Sun card. Like, things weren't really seen clearly. Some of the Two of Cups. Five of Cups, yeah. And hair font. There's a lot of things about commitment here. Um, this person could have been non-committal and could have uh, done things or said things that were really upsetting uh, and really hurt the relationship. Um, let's see what uh, they're doing right now in regards to you. Let's see this here. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords. So they're trying to really see things clearly too here. They're trying to gain some uh, gain some clarity. Ace of Swords, the Star card. Tell me the Star card. Star card Justice and Magician. Wow, this is uh, they're really trying to get gain some clarity and understand where they where they went wrong. Where where was their life heading with you? There's like a lot of things mixed up in the air here, especially with the Seven of Cups. One of Seven of Cups. 
King of Wands. There's a lot of things they didn't get to do that they wanted to do. Um, possibly they didn't say enough. Uh, there's a lot of self-doubt here too. So this could possibly be this person uh, you're dealing with has these mentalities. They're feeling like there's nothing that they can do at the moment. Tell me the Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Although they still... You, they still feel good around you. They still feel like you make them feel good about themselves. You bring them up. You make them feel happy. Um, it's just right now they're really trying to see the guiding light. Like I just keep hearing, where did I go wrong? So this person's like trying to figure out where they went wrong and, and understand their own um, responsibilities in this situation here. This is a pretty powerful combination. It's the as above, so below karmic laws. And this person's kind of getting hands dealt to them that may, they have dealt to other people. So it's kind of getting karmic debt back that, that must be repaid. But um, and it's learning at the same time because it hurts. But it's like, oh, man, I can't believe I did that or... You know, did I, did I, did I do that to that person? Was I, what did I do? It's like such confusion here, right? It's not seeing really a way out here with the Eight of Swords. Tell me the Seven of Cups one more time, please. Thank you. Yeah, Seven of Cups Tower. It's almost mind boggling to them, right? This is like, what? Um, really, I think they're getting some, uh, they're paying some karmic debt uh, right now. Possibly in regards to you in the situation. But there's definitely uh, impulsiveness here. Uh, things that were done to you that possibly you just felt like things are always off. There's always something, something wrong. There's something off about this. Although you feel you love them, you feel connected to them. But it just feels like something i i feel you guys energy it was just like no this is this is not right i i can't look past this anymore there's something some other deep-seated issue here that's that i'm i'm trying to keep putting a band-aid on but it <clears throat> keeps falling off and then it gets exposed again you know okay so let's see how they feel about you right now let me just see yeah, they have, wow. So, Six of Cups, Nine of Cups. Uh, they have fond mem. They're thinking about you a lot, Empress. They do still hold you in high regards. They still care about you. Um, they're thinking, like, about old thing memories, stuff that you did together, things that bring them happiness. And they do <clears throat> still love you, right? Uh, they do see you as this amazing person that, uh, it kind of helps them, really. Tell me the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ace of Cups. Yes. You know, they really, really care about you, really love you. Still feel like, so here's the problem with the, the head over the heart. So you can see in the reading even, the head is like a completely different situation than the heart, right? So in their heart, they still feel like, I want this person, like, they make me happy, I want to do this, but in their head, they're like, whoa, something's wrong here, like, I just feel like I can't, um, either they can't make you happy, or they're just receiving karmic debt here, because I am seeing karmic debt, uh, that they're having to pay, so, for things that they've done in the past or to you, so, it's kind of like, they know it's dead and done, uh, although they want it different, they don't see how they can achieve that to be different, uh, to get a different outcome with you. But in their heart of hearts, it's like, you know, I love this person. I, I adore them. Oh. Okay, let's see what action they're taking towards you in the current moment. <clears throat> what action are taking towards Scorpio? I'm just getting stuck here. Chariot, Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups. So, tell me about the Chariot. Because I want to get this before I say it. Tell me about the Page of Wands. So, what action they're taking towards you in the current moment? 
they're trying to solve this, okay? Chariot Temperance, you might hear from them every once in a while, uh, Page of Wands, Four of Wands, and they might feel like they might send you messages or text messages or even social media here. I see of, you know, an invite. Do you want to go to a party? Do you want, it's just things to kind of solidify that they still have a connection with you, that they still have a foundation with you. But I see Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups. Uh, it's kind of like, I have to say this. I feel like you guys are in the Queen of Swords energy a bit. Kind of like saying, you know what? I need this to make me happy. And you can't provide that for me. So I, I need to only accept that and that's it. I can't be continuing to do this that way. Like you did this to me. You can't just brush it off with a little band-aid because what they're doing here with the challenge of the chariot with the temperance card is they're trying to ease into the situation by not addressing the full issue of what happened. So they could be sending you or they, if you're not, if you haven't received it yet or a message, you're going to get some soon uh, in the present here in regards to this uh, person. It seems like a little invite or a gathering or a, I just heard barbecue. Uh, could be a family barbecue. Something like that. Okay. Some of the four wands. One last thing. Seven of swords. It's a strategy. Like we said, it's a strategy. Ten of wands. Worlds. Yeah. Because they want this new beginning. They're just taking... They're taking steps that are completely away from that in order to get back into your good graces. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And if you're interested and this reading resonated with you, you can meet me in the extended um, in the description box down below. We're going to go over their true intentions, uh, the actions they're going to take in the future with you, the outcome, okay, of this in the future. We're going to go over some advice, the sacred door, soul cards, and some uh, soulmate cards. Okay, and get you some messages there. All right. If you don't, thank you for joining me here. I love you guys. You have a good one.